And the thing you can't get away from, and I know it's the purest in you, and I and my heart am you, but I'm a different animal now. Mm. And that is that- You're a sellout. That's the I'm animal. I'm a sellout, It's yes. called a sellout. I'm Thank a sellout you. now. So the thing about the podcasting is, um, if you look at the other media formats, the, the, it's, they're not economical anymore. They're struggling. Mm. Um, and- Because podcasting from a cultural perspective is just free. We're used to getting them for free. Mm. As a podcaster, the most you can, well, the average thing you can do is make enough money to make the next episode, mm. right? And there is so much more you can do if you treat your show differently, if you treat your show like a career, and I want to have the biggest show. And why that is good is because, yes, am I beholden to brands? That's the real question. Mm. Now, if you were going to do a show on Netflix, if you know anyone who's worked with Netflix, it's a fucking pain in the ass, right? The amount of control and the amount of interference and what it is absolutely dominated by the requirements needed to make your show. So there's no freedom anywhere in any of the mainstream things. No one's just turn on mic, do whatever I want, that you have the freedom here. Yeah. But if you want to build a sustainable business in podcasting, and, and what I'm saying is I now want my podcast to be my career, not my hobby. Mm. Then there are certain factors you have to take into play, and that is you are an independent person, but instead of the channel, you have these brands. That's your only real way. You're not going to make the money, real money off of your YouTube revenue or your audio programmatic stuff. You're going to make your real money off brand alignments because there isn't any subscriptions or I don't know if you do subscriptions. It's like how, what it must be 5% of your revenue subscriptions on Patreon. It's very tiny. Tiny, right? Yeah. So you're not going to make your money on donations. You're not going to make your money. Those, those are the money that's going to help you tick over for the next month. Mm. But if you want to build your business, you have to build it into the part of the, the unfortunately necessary evil, which is the uh, channel. Now the channel in this case are the brand partnerships you have. The lucky cool thing is you get to choose which partnerships they are. Sure. But if you build your show in collaboration with those brand partnerships, you've got a business and you've got a revenue stream and you have a podcast. Do we have to sell out? Well, the, none of the, I don't believe any of our podcasts sell out. None of them. No, I hear you. That's politically correct. But realistically speaking. No. Are, are you saying we need to sell out to, to be a successful, all of a commercially the research, successful podcast? All of the research says, all of it. Yeah. That, uh, and it was different five years ago, and it's the global research, that listeners don't mind ads. They, they don't like ads. They never like ads. Yeah. But they got ads when they watch YouTube, Right. They're complaining, but they're still- Please, YouTube is shoving ads down people's- I was yes, forced to, it's too, to take premium. It's too hectic. to yeah, get me as well. It's yeah. too much now. But uh, let me give you another example. Radio. Radio has ads. Correct. No one goes, fuck the radio station because they're playing ads, right? It's not denigrating the ads, it, it, the, the radio station by having ads. We, we, some podcasters, we, because we still love the medium, we think, oh, these fucking ads, right? Mm -hmm. But it's, it, the audience don't mind it as much as you think they are. And- There's the programmatic ads that suck. Yeah. There's big, they, for us as podcasters, it's a big part of the revenue, but integrated ads where, where, where um, um, you know, like a, a cool drink brand or whatever yeah. can come in and you can say, look, um, I've tasted the new cherry cola and actually it's not bad. Yeah. And that's cool. And you sort of speak about it in your own words. And that, like, that, that's not interfering in your, your, audience want you to succeed and they know that that's a paid ad for oh. you and they're happy for you right so that isn't selling out in the way that you think it is what is selling out is compromising the the quality like if if mac g decided no more swearing no more controversial stuff i only want to speak to brands he'd be selling out oh. but what he's done is he's blazed his way and got this is how the fuck i am Brands who know who I am and want to work with me in the environment that I'm in, yeah. here I am. And he's probably lost a lot of revenue along the road to keep his thing straight. Oh. And every podcaster has that. I, I have one podcaster, you mentioned him earlier. Every fucking ad is a fight because he wants to do it right and he wants to do it his way and he wants to do it authentically. Yeah. Fine. It's your airway. It's not, I don't own your radio station. You oh. do. So you're only making my life hard. But um, so I don't think that the traditional thing of selling out is relevant in this in this thing i hear you yeah